In number 21, we want to find the derivative of the function f of x equals e to the x divided by e to the x plus 1. Okay, so the very first thing we should see here is that this is the quotient of two functions. Okay, so in other words, I've got one function on top divided by another function on the bottom. Okay, so this function on top may be, uh, let's look at it this way. Uh, if I have that h is equal to function a divided by function b, then h prime is going to be, and this is the key here. When we, you use the quotient rule, you can get it right like every time if you just remember this one little trick. Always write the thing that's on the bottom or the function in the denominator down first without changing anything. Okay, so I'm going to write it's b times a prime minus a times b prime, all divided by b squared. So it's the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom divided by the bottom squared. In the product rule, it doesn't really matter which one you take the derivative of first, but in the quotient rule, it absolutely matters, and you get it wrong if you take the wrong derivative first. So the way that I always remember how to do it right is you just, whatever it is on the bottom, just go ahead and write that down first. Don't change anything. And then you know, okay, I write down the bottom first, then the derivative of the top, and then you're into the pattern and you're good to go. Okay, so once we know that, let's go back over here. This function on top, we'll call this guy, this is A. This function on bottom, this is B. So we've got that F prime of X is equal to, well, it's the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. So what is on the bottom? The bottom is e to the x plus 1, so we just write that down first, and we do nothing to it. So we get e to the x plus 1. So we just wrote down the bottom. Then we write down the derivative of the top. Well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So this is e to the x. So I've got the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top left alone. The top left alone, the top is e to the x. So I write down e to the x times the derivative of the bottom. Well, the derivative of the bottom, I'll erase this to get this out of the way. The derivative of the bottom is e to the x. e to the x's derivative is e to the x. 1's derivative is 0. So the derivative of the bottom is just e to the x. So we get e to the x. So, so far I have the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom divided by, I erased it, but on the bottom it's the bottom squared. So on the bottom I have e to the x plus 1. So on the bottom of my derivative I have e to the x plus 1 quantity squared. Again, I could simplify this a little bit and it would actually simplify down quite a bit, I can see, because we would have e to the x times e to the x minus e to the x times e to the x. And so on top, we would just end up with e to the x. And on bottom, we would have e to the x plus 1 squared. So uh, here's my first derivative. And if you didn't catch my multiplication, just multiply it out yourself, and you'll see it is, in fact, e to the x over e to the x plus 1 squared. Uh, and so we have the derivative. But the main thing that you need to remember in these problems is how do you take the derivative of a quotient? And what you should always remember is you write the bottom down first without taking the derivative. Take the bottom, e to the x plus 1, write it down first. If you remember that, you're going to be good to go.